Homeowners in postcode 3977 and 3978 keep watching to see what happened with house prices in August 2023. A total of 95 homes were sold in postcode 3977. Now that's down 38% on the same month last year, but with the median house price actually up 5.3% compared to the same month. And that's sitting at $748,000. Year to date, we are down 28% in the number of homes sold. And the overall increase in the median house price is actually not up, it is down by 2.6%. So not too shabby, basically. So are you ready for a deeper dive on the hyperlocal level? Let's go. Cranbourne, you have shifted from balanced market last month to a cooling market. So that means that there's currently a slight rise in the number of properties available on the market for sale, while the data is telling us there's around about 20% less potential buyers. But that's still okay. So what happened with prices in Cranbourne during August 2023? A total of 19 sales were reported, with the highest being 12 Sneed Boulevard selling for $1,420,000, while the lowest was 43 Bowen Street at $573,000. Cranbourne East, you have moved up from balanced to a warm market. Now that means that there has been a slight lift in the number of active buyers looking for property in the East. So what happened with the prices in Cranbourne East during August 2023? A total of 24 sales were reported, with the highest being for number 16 Sancho Drive. Now that one sold for $1 million, nice round numbers, while the lowest was 18 Hawks Eye Way, and that sold for $534,000. Cranbourne West, you're back on track, and you are now into a warm market. Now that's just meaning that there's an increase in the number of active buyers who are looking to buy into the West, which is fairly normal for that pocket. Now. What happened with prices in the West during August in 2023? Well, there were a total of 21 sales reported. The highest was for number 16 Glass and Way, and that one sold for $1,075,000, while the lowest was 22 Wanstead Way at $530,000. Cranbourne North, you've dropped back just a little bit, um, so you've slipped into a neutral market. It is no cause for alarm, it just means that the market conditions in August were what we would call stable and steady, with just a slight drop of numbers of active buyers out and about. So what happened in response to that with prices in Cranbourne North during August 2023? Well, a total of 22 sales were reported, with the highest being number 19 Beacon Drive, selling for $1,065,000 thousand dollars while the lowest was number seven elderberry alley selling for five hundred and eighty thousand dollars cranbourne south you've jumped up a peg into a hot market with a rise in the number of active buyers out and about looking for something in the south so what happened with prices in cranbourne south during august 2023 well, there were a total of six sales reported, with the highest being for, no surprise here, 600 Cranbourne Frankston Road selling for $1,850,000, while the highest was for 49 Volunteer Way at $632,000. Junction Village, you are in a neutral market, so you've pegged back from hot last month. Um, now, could this be a result of very little for sale? Maybe. So what happened with prices in Junction Village during August 2023? Well, it was all about land and building, with only two sales reported, but 48 Blue Lily Circuit land selling for $370,000, while 7 Opera Walk sold for $600,000. Botanic Ridge, you have cooled off just a little bit and you're now sitting in a neutral market. No need for panic though, with very few homes currently on the market, a neutral market will still be more than okay for selling. So what happened with prices in Botanic Ridge during August 2023? A total of seven sales were reported, with the highest being for number one Lime Burner Grove, now that's in the golfing precinct, selling for $1,600,000, while the lowest was number two Riverwood Drive, selling for $590,000. Sky, you're in a warm market. Now, what that means is that there are currently more, or there were in August, more active buyers looking for property in the area than homes were available to buy which is absolutely fabulous if you are thinking about making your move soon. So what did happen with prices in Sky during August 2023? 
There were a total of seven sales reported, with the highest being for number 24, Edinburgh Drive. Now, that one sold for $900,000, while the lowest was number 63, Darnley Drive, and that one sold for $635,000. Clyde, you have come back just a tad sitting in a cool market. Now, that just means that there's currently slightly lower numbers of active buyers searching in the area, but that's okay. Properties are still selling quite well. So what happened with prices in Clyde during August 2023? A total of 17 sales were reported, with the highest being 12 Arroyo Grove, and that one sold for $925,000, while the lowest was number 21 Slattery Street at $600,000. Clyde North. You've simmered down a tad. You're down to a warm market. Now what that means is that the number of active buyers searching has dropped just a little bit from last month, but the total number of sales was actually up a little on last month. But full disclosure, it does appear that there was a number of blocks of land that got titled and then ultimately settled, and that will be adding to this number. So what happened with prices in Clyde North during August 2023? A total of 48 sales, don't forget including land, were reported with the highest being a tie with both 11 Sedge Street and 7 Little Shore Crescent both selling for $1,450,000, while the lowest was number 16 Pleven Rise at $582,000. Well, there you have it, the market wrap for August 2023. I am Jo Mooney from Mooney & Co Estate Agents, and as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you've got any real estate questions at all, we are always only ever a phone call away.